don't really actually even understand what they mean when they say analog optical computer. Yeah, there's a bunch of these companies that are investing in alternative computing technology, right? 100%. Let's go away from transistors. Yes. And uh, let's try to find a different, completely different way to store data and manipulate data. Um, this is an analog computer. When we want to do AI, there's two core operations that we have to do, okay? One is matrix multiplication, multiplication, right? Where we take the weights of your neural network and you multiply it by some vector and then you multiply it by another matrix and another matrix. And the other thing that you have to do is you have to do a nonlinearity, which is this idea that if... If my input is above a certain threshold, only then do I let it through. If it's below a certain threshold, then it's a zero, okay? Those are the two fundamental things that you have to do as someone who wants to implement a neural net. So now, in order to do these things in a traditional computer, what you have to do is you have to store your weights in a certain spot, mm -hmm. okay? And then you gotta load them up in your processor, right. and then you gotta, you gotta multiply the weights to this thing, and then you gotta load up new weights. So there's a lot of power that's being dissipated, and yes. then there's also a lot oh, of latency. latency. This thing is solving both of those by creating a computer out of light, lenses, and filters. Very interesting. Okay? okay. It's very cool to yeah. me. Let's look at the two things that we need to do in order to do a neural network implementation. The first one I talked about was matrix multiplication. But these guys figured is we could do that with like light and filters. Okay. Okay. So the vector is an array of numbers, right? We could represent that with the brightness of LEDs. Do you see where I'm going oh, now I with already, the whole thing? I already see where you're going. Okay. I could represent that with a brightness of LEDs. Okay. Clear. Okay. Then I've got a matrix that I need to multiply it with, right? Mm -hmm. I could represent that with a bunch of filters. Oh, no. I right? Just... That each light goes through. I'm so mad. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah. It's so nice. Right? And then I've got an output vector, right? That output vector could be a CCD that senses how much light went through. Okay, so completely analog. Right, right, right. There's no zeros and ones. It's like something. It's there's a continuous value here of the brightness. There's a continuous value of the filters. Yeah. And then there's a CCD that captures whatever comes out. Right. Converts it into current. It's going to go through a bipolar differential pair, which is going to do the nonlinearity. Mm -hmm. If it's above a certain amount, then it's going to let through a bunch of current. Yep. You can also do this thing called momentum which is something that you use in neural networks. If you're like converging on an answer, yes. you want to keep going in that direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's something that you can implement with VGAs. Yeah. This is all analog. Pure, analog, pure analog. It's wonderful. 